Hello wild ones, I'm here in the forest on this beautiful autumn day in mid-October. I've got my tarp today and I'm gonna try to make a cozy little home using this tree and these rocks. Oh, I love being under a tarp in the rain. Okay, we're ready to leave. So I've got my DD Superlight today. That's a three meter by 2.9 meter tarp and various fixtures and cordage. So I'm thinking I might try a plow point from this tree here and bring it down around these rocks. And the rocks, of course, are gonna be a brilliant natural shelter as well. So I think this is gonna be really cozy, if I can pull it off. Let's give it a go. Woo! Yeah, I think that'll work. That covers the little bed area perfectly. ground sheet this is my DD magic carpet I think it's the XL so I'm gonna pop that down here give us somewhere to sit make a cozy little nook So today I'm using my Thermarest Exterm Max Regular, my Leviathan 900 and I'm going to have my Hunker bivy bag over the top of that because it's going to get wet if I don't use a bivy bag and I've got my cheapy pillow that I love as well. So yeah, I think this is going to be pretty snug. Is there any better sound than rain on a tarp? This is just perfection, sitting here all warm and cosy with the views of the forest and the mountains in the background. Oh, it's just heaven, not a person in sight. Happy place. Right, so the bivy bag is over the sleeping bag and that's sticking out. I don't care about that getting wet at all. These bivy bags are really good and they don't let any water through and the foot end of my mat is gonna get wet again. I don't really mind, it's not really an issue, as long as I'm covered at the head end, which so far I am, that is fine by me. What I love about these little setups is that you have everything to hand. I can just sit in here all night, be cozy in my sleeping bag, and I can cook, and I can chill. Oh, it's so nice. Tonight's tea is cheese leek and ham pasta and I've got some herbs to go in there as well well it's eight degrees and it's 6 30 just starting to get dark so it might be a little bit chilly tonight the woods so I'm hiding there's multiple lights and they seem to be staying in the same area so I don't know if they're camping over there maybe hmm. there's not a lot that scares me out here in the woods except other humans I've watched too much true crime I think I've decided to pack up and go I feel really on edge and I'm quite spooked, <laughs> but I don't know how to pack up in the dark, but 
I just I really don't like it. I know you can't see anything, but I'm packing up, so I'm just gonna leave this running. Ready to leave. That's it. Can't believe I managed to pack away. Okay, let's go. Oh, didn't like that. That's a shame because that would have been a really nice camp. But I enjoyed what I did of it. Oh my god, look at these stars above. I'm gonna stop here and take a picture. So beautiful. There's another light up ahead, but there's no way I'm getting out of here without at least my red light on. So it is what it is. Nearly back down now, trying to work out the way in the dark. Not easy. There's Landy. Hi Landy. It up. It's all a bit silly really because those people in the woods they probably saw my light switching off and wondered who's that weirdo alone in the woods at night. I've got a poorly ankle at the moment so I'm not traveling too far from my car and I guess I'm more likely to run into other people than I am when I'm miles into the wild. I kind of take it for granted that once the sun goes down, I'm by myself, and that's how I like it. <sighs> oh. Human beings are the most beautiful and the most monstrous creatures. In my time on this earth, I've experienced plenty of both, and while my rational mind knows that most people in the woods are the former, it's really easy to get carried away with what ifs in the dark. Anyway, I'm glad to be back at my car and I'm just gonna sleep in my car tonight. I've got my bed behind. Just have to move some stuff. But because I've ended up in this lay-by, I have a wide open view of the heavens. It's one of the most beautiful starry nights that I've ever seen. Take a hot drink and snuggle up in my car bed for a deep and restful sleep as the Milky Way glides across the sky over my car. This one might not have gone as I planned, but it doesn't matter. I loved my little half camp in the woods. I loved finding out that I know my gear and my rucksack so well that I'm able to pack away my entire camp in pitch blackness by touch alone. I love autumn. sunshine. And I love my cosy little nest in the back of Landy. Thanks for sharing this little misadventure with me. I hope you guys are having a really lovely November and I'll see you again soon.